Yes. Okay, so let's start our today's topic, right? So today we are going to talk about working with graphics and animation, right? So sometimes it will be necessary to draw your own shapes, right? If you want to draw some text, if you want to animate something, if you want to create a screen rotator or you can say screen saver kind of thing, right? If you want to provide some animation, okay? So in that case, you are going to learn these classes and interfaces, right? So first of all, we talk about the introduction to Android graphics, right? So here, Android provides a huge set of 2D graphics, right? So 2D drawing APIs. So that APIs contains lots of classes and methods with the use of that you can create or you can draw a 2D graphics that allows you to create a graphics, right? Now, Android has got visually appealing graphics and mind blowing animation. So you can do lots of things regards with the graphics and animation, right? It framework provides a rich set of powerful APIs for applying animation to UI element. As I told you that if you want to put some animation or if you want to draw some graphics, then these are the very useful custom 2D and 3D graphics you can create. Now, following are three animation systems used in Android applications. So here is the types of animation, property animation, view animation, and drawable animation, right? So according to your requirement, you can choose any of the type. We'll see in the example how you can use these different types of animations. First, we talk about a property animation. So it is preferred method of animation in Android, right? So this animation is the robust framework which lets you animate any property of any object, right? That is a view or a non view objects. Okay. So for that, the Android dot animation provides classes which handles the property animation. So this particular class you have to import. Similarly, view animation. So I hope you, you get the difference between the view animations and all that. So view animation is also known as the tween animation, right? So if sometimes it asks you that what is tween animation, then you have to understand that is a view animation. And for that, you have to import android.view.animation. And that provides the classes which handles the view animation. Now, this animation can be used to animate the content of the view. So you have to, first of all, draw one view and whatever elements presents in that particular view you are going to draw so that elements you can animate now it is limited to simple transformations so here you can also do some transformations like moving resizing then rotation right but not its background color so you can do some transformations like moving resizing and rotations with the view animations that also we are going to see in one example third type of animation is a drawable animation and drawable animation is implemented using animation drawable class so for drawable animation you require this particular class this animation works by displaying a running sequence of drawable resources like suppose images are there right so frame by frame inside a view object, if you want to replace the images, right? So that can be happen with the use of drawable animation. Okay. Now, whatever another thing we are going to discuss is a canvas. I hope you know the meaning of canvas, right? So Android graphics provides a low level graphic tool such as canvases, colors, filters, points and rectangles right which handles a drawing to the screen directly suppose i have one screen right 
and this is my screen and i want to draw something like this free hand drawing if i want to provide like this is the uh, particular drawing okay in that i want to do so, so this kind of free hand drawing if i want to provide then i can go for the canvas classes okay the android framework provides a set of 2d drawing apis which allow users to provide own custom graphics so this is our custom graphics right on to the canvas or to modify the existing views to customize their look and feel right so you can do lots of things within the particular canvas there are two ways to draw 2d graphics so here you can draw text and all that stuff right some shapes you can draw okay so draw your animation into a view object from the layout right so there is a one way using the view object you can draw that or the second way is you can directly draw onto the canvas so there are two ways to use this 2d graphics to draw the 2d graphics right one is with the use of view object and another one is the canvas so with the use of both of these you can draw a particular graphics so for that some important methods we have like draw text so suppose if i want to make some text if i want to draw some text right on the canvas or a view object and later on i want to animate that i want to rotate that right so that kind of operations later on you can perform so for that draw text method is there suppose i want to draw some shapes like circle rectangle then that is all with me and draw bitmap suppose if i want to deal with the images right so for that also you can go for draw bitmap right so these are the very important methods apart from this there are lots of methods available within that discussed classes right so with the use of that you can draw a different shapes and you can also do some animation into that right so let's this is the end of this particular theory in the graphics so let's discuss about the particular examples how how we can uh, do this kind of stuff right so for that i have already created some examples okay so let's see one by one how you can see uh, this particular things right so first of all uh, we go for the view graphics right so how we can view the graphics uh, into the particular mobile application so for that here okay this is our view okay so now let's first of all understand what we are going to do in this particular application right so let it loads all the classes and then we can execute this okay right so let's first of all see what we are going to perform and after that we are going to discuss about the coding section so in this particular example we are going to draw a particular things right suppose say for example this is our view right so on this view i want to draw some free hand shapes like this okay these are the points we are going to make okay right so this kind of stuff if you want to provide then you can do that okay you can see whenever i press i touch touch screen this is the touch screen like right? so when you touch the particular screen then you can do this kind of stuff okay similarly at the same time uh, i can view the particular point values right so in the lock cat here you can see whatever points whatever drawing you are going to perform so based on that it provides the point it provides the point right so i have already discussed in one of my video to how to uh, create this particular filter to see the output of current executions right so you can see that 
these point values and according to that we are drawing some thing in this particular view so let's discuss how you can do how you can create this kind of application right so first of all uh, here we are going to draw some things right so here is our class okay in that we are extends the view class so here we are using a view right and it implements a on touch listener so here we are introducing a new thing that is on touch listener because how we are going to discuss about we are going to deal with the touch screen right so for that instead of clicking buttons and all that now we are going to deal with the touch screen so for that you have to implement this interface and that is on touch listener right now for that logging purpose we are going to create one tag that is a create view so as you can see in the log cat create view now here we are going to create a list of points right so one collection list and the type of collection is our point okay and here we are creating a new array list right now we are dealing with the drawing so we have to create the object of a paint class and here in a create view you have to change something over here right so for that we are going to create one constructor that is our create view class constructor and we are passing the context right and we are calling the context of a super class okay of a view class now here set focusable method so whenever you get into something whenever you touch or wherever you go on some ui element so at that time it gets the focus right now set focusable in touch mode so here we are as we are going to discuss as we are going to deal with the touch screen so you have to set the focus for touch mode and you have to register the set on touch listener right you can set the color using a paint class so p dot set color so whatever red color dots we have points we have so for that you can set any color from here and here is the nt alias right now another thing we are going to override over here so that is on draw and on touch so these two particular methods whenever you are implements the on touch listener then these two methods are going to be called so on on uh, on draw method we are passing the canvas object right and we are drawing a points that is a circle that is points right ij radius of that is pi and we are passing the paint object right so this will draw our particular thing now on touch in this particular method we are going to create the points and we are fetching the location of that particular point so we are fetching the x and y coordinates right so it is added over here and that will be displayed in a log cat so that will be displayed like this and here is the implementation of our point class so point will carry x and y coordinates so here float i and j right and we are overriding the two string method right to fetch the value so this is our create view class now come back to our main activity so now here in a main activity what you need to do that here this set content view you have to change little bit over here right because here we are setting a different view so that's why this particular view will not work so for that what you can do this is one method to uh, get a full screen layout so as you observe over here in our application so i got the full screen without anything right so that will be the help with the help of this line right then no title obviously we don't require any title we want only the white black uh, white blank screen and after that we are creating the object of a create view class and we are passing into the content view 
so we are passing this create view here and we are setting the focus so that's it guys you just need to write this you don't require anything else we are directly drawing a view right with the use of this create view class and we are passing into the set content view and with the use of that it will display you can see in my main activity i don't have anything right i don't have anything so what we are drawing directly using with this create view class with the view right and as you see if you execute this code then you can see there is no title bar we have a full screen we have white blank and you can see whatever things you can do you can do with this right so this is the way how you can create a view for the graphics into the android application okay right so now let's see uh, some another application so you can get the idea how you can do some another stops with that okay uh, let's see drawing image right suppose say for example if i want to draw some image if i want to display some image right so for that you can see that over here i have nothing in this uh, particular main activity right so how you can draw the image directly okay so with the use of image view class here you can see we are going to create one linear layout this is a dynamic programming or you can say that we are creating our view elements or our ui elements by programmatically you can say that right so we are creating one linear layout in that we are putting one image view right and for the image what you can do i have copied one image in my drawable class so you can find that with the use of set image resource method r dot drawing dot this particular demo image then as just the view right and you can just put that image in a linear layout right and set content view as a linear layout so this is very simple example by writing these lines you can dynamically put some image onto the application so if i execute this code so you can see that see this is a nice image i have right so apart from this you can do many stops over here right you can put some images so programmatically how you can set the images so this is the example of that for drawing image okay now next one interesting uh, example we can discuss okay let's go for drawable object okay so here is one drawable object demo we have so in this example again we are dealing with the object so which objects we are going to deal with we are going to deal with the text view so if i want to create text view dynamically and i want to set some uh, you can say backgrounds right so i want to draw that particular objects in a specific color so red green and blue okay so you can see that we can set a background property over here of that particular text view and we can also do set text to set the text of that text view right and we are just simply adding that particular three text views in a linear layout you can see over here okay so you can see in my main activity i have nothing over here right so this is the dynamical dynamic this particular code will dynamically add three text view three objects right 
and all the three objects I have with the particular background red, blue, and green. So for that, we are going to use color drawable class. Color drawable class. And with the use of get resource method, we are patching the particular red, green, and a blue backgrounds. Okay, so that is the particular drawable. Okay, so here you can see that if I execute this code, then I have these three objects, three text view, red, blue, and green. Are we clear with this? Right? So this way you can dynamically add some graphics into this particular Android application. Now let's discuss about one interesting example that is drawing the shape. Right. So suppose if I want to draw some shape, then OK. How I can draw that, right? So here we are drawing the shape in a view. So first of all, we need to take one view. Right. So here in our main activity dot XML class. Take one view. Set the background as a shape. So I have already told you how to create a shape in a drawable. Here you can see again. I'm telling you right click on this drawable folder. New drawable resources file and into that you can see one drawable resources into that one shape we are going to create. So this is the design of my shape. I'm going to create this kind of shape oval. So here shape is equals to oval stroke solid and colors and background you can set. So this is my shape, right? So I want to draw this shape on my view here. This is the view and I want to draw. So this pass that particular shape. Now just come back to the main activity. What you need to do? You don't need to do anything. You just set the content view main activity that is already there, right? And you can see. When I execute this code, a beautiful shape is there. Right? So this way you can draw a different shapes with the use of view. OK, you can draw any circle rectangle. OK, so that kind of shapes you can draw half oval, right? But for that you just need to write a logic over here. Whatever shape you are going to create and according to that, this is some uh, simple oval shape you can draw, right? So this is one another important thing. OK, now let's talk about the particular animation, right? So I hope you are clear with the drawing some different things right now. Uh, let's go for the particular animation example. OK, so first of all, let's go for view animation. OK, right. So what I want to perform in this particular Example, so let's discuss. First of all, execute this code. OK, you can see that I have one ball image and I am rotating it to the particular direction, particular angle. So you can see this particular animation, right? So if you want to create this kind of animation, OK, so according to your logic, you can rotate any in any direction and all that, right? So if I want to create this kind of animation, then how I can do that? So first of all, you require one image. So you just need to go into the Google and you can just take one image. For animation, you have to remember one thing over here. You have to put all the animation properties into the anim directory. So go to the resource file, go to the Android resource directory, Right, and here you can find one anim directory. So just click OK. So it will create one anim directory, and into that it will have animation property.xml. 
so here we are going to create one resource file animation resource file and that is animation underscore property so now what kind of animation i want to perform so i want to perform rotation so here you can see you can set the animation then here what kind of animation you want rotation from which degree 0 degree up to which degree 36 so 0 to 36 degree and duration is 6 seconds right so you can see that particular duration you can set the speed and i want to repeat infinite time so you can see that image is rotating infinite time okay so this rotation property you have to set over here now for that you have to take one image right image view you can set the image you can set the source of the image and image will be there now come back to the logic logic is very simple one image view object you have to create right and you have to find view by id and we are going to use animation class so you can see that here we are going to create the animation object and we are loading the animation so to load the animation which animation i want to load so that is animation underscore property and one start animation method is there with the use of that you can start the animation so after writing this code you just execute the code and you can see this particular ball image is rotating from 0 to 360 degrees infinite number of time right so these kind of animations also you can put into android application right now let's see one another example that after the view animation we have drawable image drawable animation okay now for this uh, i have three images right so first of all you can see that uh, i have one image view okay i have one image view and i'm setting the id of that particular image now in this single image view i want to display three different images right so for that i have three images over here i have copied it ball one ball two and ball three and within a single image view whenever i swipe my screen then all the three images will be displaying so let me execute this so you will get the idea so this is my initial image this is my second and third so this kind of animation if you want to provide then you can do so see once again i am executing so you will get the better idea so this is my image once i swipe this so all three images will be displayed see okay so how can i perform this kind of application so for that again here we have drawable file one drawable file you have to create for this so you just need to right click on drawable folder new drawable resource file right and here you can see that <clears throat> you can give any name and just create this drawable file in that you have to create animation list so this tag you have to write animation list right and for that animation list three items i am going to create so i am putting three items into that animation list so you can see over here ball one ball two ball three and all for the duration for this 0 0.02 seconds so that's why uh, swipe fast right now what i can do very simple logic over here 
first of all as we discuss we have to deal with the animation drawable class so we are going to create the object of animation drawable into that set content view all will be there now image view we need to find view by id and what background resource you want to set so that is from the drawable file list so these are the background resources 1 2 and 3 so that will be set automatically now we are casting animation drawable class and we are getting the background image view background okay now when we are performing this whenever a touch event is happen so on touch event you have to pass the motion event object now event dot get action if action moves if i swipe or if i touch then animation drawable dot start then it will start and for the duration 200 duration every image is going to be display for that duration that particular image is going to display right you can set the duration and you can increase or decrease the duration according to your required animation right and you have to return a touch event so this is very simple code and you just create a this kind of beautiful application right you can see when i touch then all three images are going to display one by one in the image view okay so this is one another important application and it is the concept of drawable animation right into that you have to use animation drawable class right uh, let's see if i have another application so i can okay this is one another important application that is a text animation now suppose if i want to animate a text if i want to rotate a text so here again in the anim folder you have to create one xml file that is text animation and what kind of animation you want to perform so rotate from which degree 0 degree from up to which 360 from where you can start 0 0 right this is the particular x and y position and this is the duration right so that particular rotation operation you can perform in text underscore animation dot xml file you need one text view so here i took one text view and i have set the particular you can say properties or attributes so i want to rotate this text view i want to rotate the text view right so let's execute so you can get the idea what we are going to perform right you can see how how many times i touch the screen i press the touch screen then the particular text is going to rotate see right so if i want to perform this kind of animation then you require this particular controls now come back to the particular main activity okay now here we are going to use animation class again and we are using load animation method to load our animation properties so text animation then we are resetting it okay to the original position whenever we touch that after that it will come to the original position now to rotate a text you need to identify using find view by id and we are putting one linear layout right and into that linear layout on click listener we have and whenever we click on that i want to start the animation so on on click event i want to start the animation so you have to call start animation method simple right and you can pass the animation object over here 
so with the use of that you can see this particular application is going to be executed so let's execute this code this is our text view when i click then my when i click then start animation method is going to be called so when i click and you can see my image is rotating every time 0 to 360 degree right for the given duration okay so this kind of simple text animation programs also you can perform with the use of these